good day in this video we will uh, continue to complete or fill out the dx parametric table and now the last uh, mechanical manipulator is the SCARA manipulator okay so I will just make this uh, fast so row 1 for H01, row 2 for H12, and row 3 is for H23. Okay. Okay. So column theta, we will start from the base, from frame 0 to frame 1. Okay, the axis of uh, rotation is Z sub 0 because Z sub 0 is the Z sub n minus 1. X sub 0 is X sub n minus 1 and X sub 1 is X sub n. Okay, so X sub 0 and X sub 1 is already at the same direction. So we don't need to rotate. So this is 0. Plus, don't forget that. There is a given joint variable theta 1 because our joint is a joint variable. Next, row 2. Uh, frame 1 and frame 2. Our Z sub N minus 1 is Z sub 1. Our X sub N minus 1 is X sub 1. Our X sub N is X sub 2. Okay. The, rotation, the axis of rotation is Z sub 1 to match X sub 1 to X sub 2. But they, are, they, have, they have already the same direction. So this is 0 degrees plus the given joint variable. So this is 0 degrees plus theta 2. Okay. So, 0 degrees plus theta 2. Next, uh, for row 3, so for frame 2 to frame 3, the Z sub N minus 1 is Z sub 2. The X sub N minus 1 is X sub 2. The X sub N is X sub 3. So, the axis of rotation is Z sub 2 to match the direction of X sub 2 with X sub 3. But they have already the same direction. So, this is 0 degrees. So, you have nothing to add because this is a prismatic joint. Okay, next, alpha. Okay, so let's go back to the base frame from frame 0 to frame 1. Okay, the axis of rotation now is x sub 1 because it is x sub n the z sub 0 is z sub n minus 1 and z sub 1 is z sub n okay so we need to rotate at the axis of z sub 1 to match the direction of z sub 0 to z sub 1 but they have already the same direction so the alpha is 0 degrees. Okay. For our row 2, frame 1 to frame 2. Our axis of rotation is X sub 1 because... Sorry, the axis of rotation is X sub 2 because it is X sub N. Okay, it is X sub N. The Z sub N minus 1 is Z sub 1. And the Z sub N is Z sub Okay, so we will uh, rotate at X sub 2 to match the direction of X sub 2 to the direction of X sub 2. Ah, sorry, to match the direction of Z sub 1 to the direction of Z sub 2. So Z sub 1 is pointing upward. The axis of rotation is Z sub 2. So if we rotate counterclockwise, our rotation of counterclockwise is to the front, then downward. Okay, again, X sub 2 using the right hand rule. X sub 2 is the thumb. X, uh, Z sub 1 is the four fingers. The direction of the closing of the four fingers is the direction of rotation 
the positive direction, which is counterclockwise. So, the amount of rotation, so that J sub 1 have the same direction with J sub 2 is 180 degrees. Okay? 180 degrees. So, it's obvious because they have opposite direction. Okay, so 180 degrees. Next, oh sorry. Okay, next. Uh, last row for alpha. For frame 2 to frame 3. The axis of rotation is X sub 3. The Z sub N, because X sub 3 is X sub N, Z sub 2 is Z sub N minus 1, Z sub 3 is Z sub N. So, we will rotate at X sub 3 to match Z sub 2 to Z sub 3. Okay, Z sub 2 is already at the same direction with Z sub 3, so this is 0 degrees. Letter R. Okay, column R, or R column. So, we will go back to the base. So, from frame 0 to frame 1, the distance, okay, the distance of the, of Z sub 1, sorry, Z sub 1, of uh, frame 1 to the, ori to the origin of frame 0, Okay, the distance of the origin so origin of frame 1 to the origin of frame 0 along x sub 1 axis because x sub 1 is the x sub n axis is a sub 2 because a sub 2 is along the axis of x sub 1. Okay, this is x sub 1. Again, if you, uh, if you notice... A sub 2 is at the left side of the origin of X sub 1. And if you're thinking it is negative, you are almost right. But it is positive because of the rule of position vector that the reference frame is the largest frame. And all the frames and, uh, and all the smaller frames are inside of it. And we will follow the direction of the largest frame, which is a reference frame, frame 0. And everything at the right side is positive x sub 0. And a sub 2 is at the right side. Therefore, a2 is positive. Okay. A2 is positive. Next. The origin of frame 3 to frame 2 along x sub 2 axis because x sub 2 is the x sub n axis is a sub 4 because a sub 4 is at the axis of x sub 2 and again we are following the axis of x sub 0 where all of uh, where all of the the link lengths to the right side are positive okay to the right side is positive so a4 is positive a4 okay then next the or the distance of the origin of uh, the distance of from the origin of frame three to the origin of frame two along x sub three axis because x sub three is the x sub n axis is zero. Okay, because x sub three is pointing to the right and there is no link length to the right, and the uh, axis of distance of the two frame is at the upward direction therefore the row 3 is 0 of r okay so for d let's go to column d let's go back to the base frame 0 to frame 1 
along the Z sub N minus 1 axis. The Z sub N minus 1 axis here is Z sub 0. Okay. So, Z sub 0 along Z sub 0, the distance is A sub 1. Positive A sub 1. Okay. Next. Uh, the distance of uh, from the origin of frame 2 to frame 1 frame 1 along Z sub 1 axis because Z sub 1 axis is the Z sub N minus 1 axis okay. the, link, the distance is A sub 4 Oh, sorry, the distance is A sub 3 because A sub 3 is at the axis of Z sub 1. So, this is A sub 3. Okay. Last, the origin of the frame 3 to the origin of uh, frame 2. So, the distance along Z sub 2 axis because Z sub 2 is the Z sub N minus 1 axis is A sub 5. Because A sub 5 A sub 5 is at the axis or is along the axis of Z sub 2. So this is A sub 5 plus D3 because there is a given joint variable D3 and this is a prismatic joint. Okay. If you are asking why A5 is positive, okay, why A5 is positive because Z3 is pointing downward. The, the blue arrow, the blue arrow, the, uh, the arrow of Z sub 2 axis is pointing downward. Therefore, it is A5. Or the, therefore, A5 is positive. Even though... Oh. A5 is still... And also, A5 is still at the positive side of Z sub 0. Okay? At the positive side of Z sub 0. And also, Z sub 2 is also positive downward. Therefore, A sub 5 is positive. Okay, plus the joint variable D3. Okay, our joint variable D3 here is have a have a what do you call this uh, old drawing of indicator. This is not the indicator of okay. This is not the indicator. We have the new indicator, okay. But uh, this this uh, indicator of joint variable is allowed. This double-headed arrow. Okay. Let's just make the symbols and indicators easy to understand. Okay, because uh, the this arrow indicates that this is this uh, this flat line is the zero, and the arrow the direction of arrowhead is the joint variable D. Okay, and there should be no negative link lengths. Okay, or there uh, sorry there should be no negative D three. There should be no negative D three. Or there should be no negative joint variable D. Okay. So, this is the complete dish parametric table of a SCARA manipulator. Okay. So, thank you.